Okay, so here is our diagram of the eye, and I'm going to start with the pupil, which I'm going to draw in pink. Now the pupil is this front section of the eye. Remember that in real life it's black, and it's the circular area right here in front. The next thing that we learned about was the iris. Um, and I'm going to make the iris in blue, simply because I have blue eyes, so it's easier to remember. And the way you find the iris is once you've found the pupil, the area immediately above the pupil, right here, and the area immediately below the pupil, right here, are the iris. The last part we've learned about so far that I'm going to color in green is the lens. And the lens is a circular area located immediately behind the pupil. So, so far we've learned three different parts of the eye. The pupil, the iris, and the lens. Going back to our slides, let's learn some more parts of the eye. The next part of the eye is the retina. And the retina is the inner surface of the eye that contains the photoreceptors. We have two different types of photoreceptors in our eyes, rods and cones. Now rods are photoreceptors that are good at differentiating between light and dark. These are the type of cells that you use when you're in a darkened room. Um, you may have noticed that at night you can't see color very well. Like if you get up in the middle of the night and you're walking through your bedroom and you notice there's a shirt on the floor, it can be really hard to figure out what color that shirt is. This is not because the shirt has a different color at night. The color of the shirt never changes. But in low light, it's in low light situations, like in a darkened room, you use your rods. And so you, it makes it very, it's good for seeing in low light areas, but it makes it very hard to see color. And this is because the type of um, cells in your eyes that see color are the cones. Now the cones respond to different colors. Um, they're the ones that help you see red or blue or green or yellow, but they, they don't work well in low light levels, which I alluded to earlier. That's why objects don't appear to be the same color um, at night as they do during the day. So once light has entered your eye, it hits the cells in the retina, and then those cells send a signal to the optic nerve. And the optic nerve carries signals from the photoreceptor to the brain. Now each of your eyes has a blind spot. Um, and in the class, I will show you how to, to, I will be able to demonstrate to you where your blind spot is at. And the way that this, the reason you have this blind spot is because th you don't have any photoreceptors where the optic nerve leaves the eye. So there's a, a spot on your retina that does not receive light. And like I said, we will demonstrate in class where it's at. It's actually kind of a pretty cool experiment. The next part of the eye we need to learn about is the cornea. The cornea is a clear protective layer at the front of your eye. Think of it as safety glasses. Okay, your cornea acts as a, as a shield that protects your eyes. Let's head back to the diagram of the eye and let's learn where our next three parts are at. So the first thing we talked about was the cornea. I know I've used red for the cornea before. Um, I'm sorry, not the cornea, the retina. Um, the retina is at the back of the eye, and you can see the eye has one, two, three layers. And the retina is the innermost layer. Now I'm just going to highlight this innermost layer, showing that that's the retina. Notice it goes above and below that thing in the back, which we'll learn about. That's the optic nerve. And then it also covers this whole area. All this area in the back that has the blood vessels in it, this is all part of the retina. Okay. So for now, the red will be retina. I'm going to switch over to yellow. And yellow is going to stand for my optic nerve. This optic nerve is this bundle of 
nerve fibers right here in the back. Remember your optic nerve is the reason that you cannot, you have a blind spot in each eye. You can't see where the optic nerve connects into your brain. The other thing that we've learned about um, is the cornea. And the cornea I'm going to do in orange. The cornea is the very front of the eyeball. So this area here is the cornea. Now the reason that we wear safety glasses when we work in the lab is because we don't really have a very good way of fixing eyes yet. And the cornea is definitely a part of the eye that you do not want to mess up. Because if you mess up the cornea, it, if you damage it, it becomes um, translucent or opaque. In other words, you can't see through it. If you can't see through it, light's not going to make it into your eye. Okay, we're going to transfer back to the uh, PowerPoint a second and cover a little... Nope, nope actually that's going to be our last slide for today because I want to, dis to divide up the eyes and the ears. So we've finished covering the parts of the eye. Um, tomorrow we will cover the parts of the ear along with um, taste and smell. Have a great day.